All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're installing the rear motor mount. Haven't had to do this before because the electric focus mount that it came with worked fine. But as of late, I want to say the last three to four months, the engine's been um, moving a lot. You're doing like 10 to 15 miles an hour. You let go of the gas a little bit and the whole engine just shakes a lot. So we're doing this today. Uh, so what I'll do right now, just put the car on the blocks right here. Once I have that up, I'll walk through a little bit of a walkthrough. There's plenty of videos on how to do this. I even have one myself. I helped my buddy install his. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that today, see what the difference is. All right, one quick note I wanted to make about, I'm assuming is this car in particular, not just mine. But anytime I had to jack up the front, to get my tire either on blocks or just get under the car the rear comes way higher than the front and actually that rear tire comes off the ground first before this wheel does so as you can see this wood block is maybe i don't know eight inches high but over there we have well over a foot i don't think you can see it because of the sun but we have well over a foot of clearance meanwhile i have to pump this thing like crazy get it on there and then set it down but anyways just wanted to make a little note on that i find it hilarious that the rear lifts before the front does and then when the rear or the front does lift it's way less than the back and i tried doing it the other way i tried jacking it from the back to see if the front lifts nope the front just doesn't lift as much got the car up on the jacks uh, or on the locks here uh Gotta put a chalk at the back of the wheel so it doesn't roll back on me. Shouldn't, but you can never be too safe. Uh, both sides are up. Ready for installing the uh, rear motor mount. Um, I do know, or at least I read that the cop one was probably gonna be the stiffest one. That doesn't require like a stage two or whatever they call it um, mount. But apparently it rattles a lot and it's significant especially when you have the ac on uh really don't mind uh my friend that i help him put a rear motor mount he got the mountain one super nice i got to ride in his car felt really nice felt really smooth you, you can tell the difference for some reason you can tell the difference when you're like cornering or you know uh steering and i liked it but and i did order that originally but they were back order for like three weeks i believe and i wanted to get this done sooner uh so i got the cop one got it within like four or five days of ordering and then i also order um i ordered the charge pipes for the intercooler so i ordered the mishimoto uh cooling pipes that is back order eight to ten weeks uh i'm gonna wait on that it's not 100% need it right now, but I can tell that I probably do have a small leak somewhere, especially on the hot side. I was never happy on how that clamp is. So I'm gonna change that, uh, hopefully get whatever issues I have with that result, if I have any. Uh, like I said, uh, usually I only put about full, like 19 PSI on this car regularly. On the last three to four days, it's been going to 20, 21. Uh, so I feel like I do have a leak either there or more than likely from up here from the uh, intake because i believe this pipe wasn't put on right and this one that goes to the turbo well it doesn't go directly to the turbo it goes into a coupler that goes to the turbo that coupler was bent to hell and that was my fault that was from when we installed the new turbo on the car um, so another thing i'm thinking about getting is the the mission motor intake as well for this car uh carb legal just like the charge pipes those are car legal so i live in california i try to keep it as legal as possible i say that with a verbal tune install in the car doesn't necessarily make an improvement because let's face it the intake apparently is good up to like 400 or so horsepower so I, it's not like i have to change it but because i did bend the um the rubber i, I feel like it's never gonna seat properly back on on the tube and had a few issues especially with this elbow uh, not wanting to come off properly and I usually bend it to take it off uh, when I did the shift arm and all that stuff so that'll be down the road I was hoping that I will have the charge pipes for today so I can install it all together just get under the car once instead of multiple times 
but like I said, they're back order for eight to 10 weeks. But for now, I'm gonna take the under tray off, get all that good stuff out of the way and get this guy installed. And we'll see how much I shake after I have it installed. All right, so I wasn't gonna film this, but I just wanted to show uh, that even when loosening this thing up, the whole thing is shaking. Um, let me see, I'm blocking the light. But this is like, I can move it by hand. Like, I can just wiggle this. And that has nothing to do with this bolt. I could do this even before I, t I loosen this up. Here it is. There's the uh, rear motor mount. So you can see, not as bad as I thought it would be. There is a small crack right here. You can kind of see it. I'm trying to point the flashlight right there. Uh, so it was moving a little bit. And so I thought, ah, not too bad. I, I could have dealt with that, but then I flip it over. And this thing is toast. It is ripping here. It's developing a crack over here. I just wanted to do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison on this. Um, so you can see uh, the cop one solid bushing uh, very little give versus all rubber cracks everywhere there you go there's a nice crack so yeah let's put this back on make sure it's the right way uh, uses an allen key or uh, torx whatever you call that instead of the regular bolt and uh, yeah once we have this on start the car see how it feels all right guys uh mount has been swapped out um what i like to do is i like to keep the oem stuff just in case uh ever want to go back and have that option uh with this one we're going to do the same thing we're going to put it in a nice safe spot so make sure that if we ever need it we can always get it back and uh whatever the spot then on the trash because that thing is done so you can see I already started the car I just wanted to make sure everything was uh, installed correctly and I didn't forget to tie anything down. Uh, she's making sure. I don't feel the difference. I, I was really worried about how much it's going to shake. Uh, I keep hearing like people saying like, oh, I had to take it off. This was too much. Uh, currently I have no AC on. Apparently that's when, um, when that gets worse it feels fine to me i'm a little afraid that one maybe i didn't tighten something down all the way but i know i did the other one is i could have the mount upside down but i just know that i didn't because i look back on the footage and i see that the cob is you can read it the right way so let's turn on the ac and i do feel vibrations on the seat and on the pedals but it's honestly normal like not crazy uh, let's go for a little drive see how this handles uh, so far I can tell the difference right away the car just feels uh, I don't know how to even say it it's not responsive it's not uh, anything else but it just feels solid all right feels pretty good and that right there so you see how I went up to like 13 miles an hour or something like that and then I let go of the gas to come to a stop before the car just shakes back and forth and you can see it on the uh, on the RPMs that you go from like say 2500 the shaking will bring it down all the way down to 2000 like that's how much it was shaking back and forth uh, that it will like literally drop the speed uh, it's not doing that it's just driving normal oh no more wheel hop either awesome so that little dip on the road before I, it'll make make me lose traction and the tires will actually screech and it will even sound like i'm flooring it and i'm trying to you know do the hot boy thing and take off super quick but no it's just the car just bouncing up and down because of the engine and he took it just so nicely quick little pull perfect i can tell right away the motor is just solid it's not moving the best part is now i know i didn't install it incorrectly it's it's on there properly oh man so good 
decided to pull over a little bit there was cars in front of me anyways I'm waiting for this truck and car to pass and then I'm gonna turn around uh, that little S curve back there is perfect spot to see uh, to make sure that the engine is not moving around I know that the rear motor mount is mainly for like taking off from a dead stop but it also like I said earlier does make a difference in handling somehow uh, and I mean it only makes sense since your engine now is pretty solid so let's go check it out oh, it just feels so good this is not as aggressive as people made it seem let's take a look right here super satisfied with this with, with how this handles how it feels this is perfect I am happy I did it it's not the cheapest part uh, at least in, in my point of view this is kind of expensive for what it is uh, it's quality obviously especially coming from Cobb oh my god the downshift my, my engine is not lurching back and forth anymore this is awesome uh, but as you can see by my reactions I gotta stop and just like make a nice comment about this uh, I still think it's a little much for what it is I do know FS work sells one of their mounts uh, the same rear motor mount it's a different material on the inside I forget what it is uh, FS work sells theirs for like a hundred bucks or under a hundred especially right now uh, with some deals they have going on uh, you can pick one of these up for under a hundred bucks uh, I would say go ahead and do it the only reason I didn't do it from FS works uh, I don't see I don't even think I have a reason why I didn't do it I just didn't think about it I wanted the mountain because I already had experience with it um, but yeah you're thinking about getting this definitely do it it's worth the money uh, it's worth uh, it's it's not bad like don't listen to those people saying like the rattling and I turn on the AC and it's honestly I don't know if I need to break this in like it just feels good out of the box like if it's like this forever it's not an issue and I have in mind too I have a racing seat that's attached directly to the floor there's nothing in between me and the and the seat it's like I'm attached directly to the floor of the car so vibrations will go like crazy on my seat if that was the case so I like it it's it's perfect minimal vibration with the AC is on you can feel it but if you if you had a downpipe installed in your car before and you know at the beginning they tell you you're gonna feel some vibrations on your pedals for like a few miles or so that's what it feels like with this motor mount it just feels like a little vibration on the foot or on the pedal and it's nothing crazy it's nothing that's gonna irritate you like right now I don't feel it like once you get moving it disappears uh, so can't can't say enough about this just get one install it don't be like me and wait way too long after to to replace it because as I show you my rear motor mount was a mess it was completely destroyed so I wish I had done it earlier those downshifts are muddy like before I used to get this lurch, lurch back and forth every downshift and I thought like oh I'm not releasing the clutch or I'm not giving it enough gas because it moves back and forth so violently nope not anymore it was the motor mount the whole time so it's man I can't I can't believe I waited that long but man I am really happy with this motor mount uh, just can't get enough of it already like it just feels so solid uh, I'm gonna exit the freeway and I'm gonna do a quick pull to make sure that the wheel hop is gone and the torque steer see how bad it is um, it's gonna be rolling I'm not gonna fully stop because I can't stop on the street but uh, just a little quick test to see how it feels let's take a look let's see what we can do right now do a second gear pull there it is no more lurching back and forth there either so we'll see and let's go no lift shift feels awesome no wheel hop, no uh, no torque steer either. Just I could have done that pull without my hands on the wheel, which I'm not gonna do. But I could have done that. Uh, 
feels awesome so yeah that's gonna be the video for today uh, like I said I'm gonna come back and install the lower brace as soon as I get the charge pipes for the intercooler I'm gonna make sure to actually want to go straight here I'm gonna make sure that um, that I have those on as soon as I get them I'm really really excited for those uh, the, the pipe looks awesome and the quality of the hoses and all that stuff so uh, yeah that'll be the video for today make sure to subscribe like the video I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so go ahead and subscribe uh, there's got a few more things coming up for the car uh, a few more places where I want to take the car and uh, yeah so we'll see you on the next one